guys, it is Saturday morning, June 11th, and it is uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. I am officially late for my workout. But anyway, I'm going to a uh, toy show today. I'm going to a G.I. Joe toy show. It's officially called that, but uh, I know that it's a lot more than G.I. Joe. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of Joe stuff there, which I am looking for, but uh, Craig has been to this show before. He said that I will not be disappointed. He said that there was a lot of vintage stuff there. I looked at the exhibitor list, and there are people that are selling Joe's and mask stuff, so there's always a potential for me to pick something up there. I think I'm looking for nothing but vintage stuff, so that'll be a good thing, but big butt here. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. The big butt is the fact that I am on a very, very super strict, tight budget of one hundo. A hundred dollars, that's all I'm gonna spend, if that. If I spend a dollar, that's still under a hundred dollars, so that fits into this challenge here. But hopefully I can get as close as I can to a hundred dollars without going over. I'm definitely not gonna go over. Definitely not gonna go over. Even if they got a whole bunch of cool stuff for super freaking cheap, hundred dollars, that's all I'm gonna do. So I gotta change my strategy up a little bit since I'm setting a, uh, a strict budget for myself at this show. I can't just buy stuff willy-nilly. I can't just buy stuff on the first whim. I gotta do like a, a first pass. Take a, a loop ski around the show ski, figure out what I actually want, figure out if it's gonna add up to a hundo, and uh, and then go from there. I can't just go, oh, that's cool, I'm gonna buy that. Oh, that's cool, I'm gonna buy that. Because I'll be over a hundred bucks if I do that. The reason why I'm setting a hundred dollar uh, budget for myself is because a lot of these damn websites Freaking Sideshow, Hasbro, all of them, they're all having sales right now. They understand the freaking price of gas. They understand the price of everything, groceries. Everything's gone up this year. So they gotta have sales so that us collectors stay collecting minded and we don't just freaking save our money and hoard toilet paper. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, guys, lots of sales have hurt the wallet. That's why I'm sitting a budget of $100 at this show. We'll see how I do. Collecting on a hundo. Let's go. I gotta go work out first though. I gotta go hit some things. Maybe kick some things. Sweat some balls. And I'll see ya right after my workout. All right, all done with my workout. Got my Joe shirt on and now I'm going to the Joe show. So very freaking excited. I should be there in about 45 minutes and I will see you there. And I'll be joined by Craig from Not Another Retro Channel and Boston Mike. All right, I have arrived in Grapevine. I'm at the Grapevine Convention Center. I got my cool, crisp hundo, ready to spend it on whatever treasures I find. By the way, uh, for those of you with a keen eye, if you're wondering the heck is that in the back there? Is that some kind of sex trapeze or something? It is not a sex trapeze, hashtag sex trapeze. It's actually a new walker that I bought from my mom. I got her a little more heavy duty walker, uh, better than the freaking little piece of tin that she has been using. She needs to rely a little bit more on a walker to get around. So I got her a nice little heavy duty one with some freaking hand brakes and a cup holder, freaking boom box attached. There's no boom box. Be pretty badass though if there was like a freaking Bose sound system <laughs> on that walker. She'd be like the coolest chick in her uh, senior community. But anyway, I'm gonna go inside, see what I can find for a hundo, meet up with the guys. Craig said there's no line inside, so I'll see you inside. Yo, Joe. Look who I see outside. Who What's is? up? It's the nerd. We're out oh, there. what is that? Attic invader shirt. We're out there waiting for you. You're inside. I thought you guys were inside already. We had to have these meetings before we get I know, together. we should you have know? had like a PowerPoint or something. He's already picking. Dude, what's that <laughs> on your phone? <laughs> my pubes all over the mic. <laughs> it is that color. That's your favorite. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? What's going on? So what are you looking for here? Deals. Deals and skills. But mainly turtle stuff, like turtle stuff that I don't have, which is becoming super hard to do at this point. Now, did you find any turtle stuff last year when you were here? I did. I did. You did? Like $5 turtle, so it was a pretty Ooh. good deal. Nice. Okay. Like in little bins below, so pretty so good. So we got to do some we do. Let's okay. get it. Let's do it. All right, so just turn the corner as I walk in. There's a killer whale with box. 500. It's a grail of mine, but obviously it's not under $100, so I'm not even going to consider it. Looks nice though in box. And you should get it. 
You think, well, I have a hundred dollar challenge. That's what I'm doing in this show. What's, how, what's the challenge you're gonna be asking? I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars or less at this show, no matter right. what I find. Even if there's freaking ridiculous deals, I'm only gonna spend a hundred bucks. That's, that, hey, sometimes you, you know, smart. Yeah. You can get it. I don't know how you my mission of Brazil set with cassette. But do you have the figures or oh, just yeah, the cassette? I got them in my truck. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Because I'm getting another set. <laughs> do you have the packaging and stuff, too? No, those are, that's really hard to get. Uh, oh, I have the cassette and the five figures. Yeah. The packaging is real. Have you listened to the cassette, though? No, i got to find a uh, tape player. Yeah. I all through my stuff and storage, looking for a tape player. I'm like, I want to listen to it. Those are hard to find nowadays. i got a VCR, but I don't have a tape yet. Yeah. Here's the killer whale in box. Transportable tactical battle platform. 250. Alright, so booth right across the way. Got some Star Wars Black Series. I never ever saw this guy in store. The Captain Rex. I think that was a Walmart exclusive. Looks very, very cool. And got some. This is the Amazon exclusive right here. The old toy homage. Here we go here, vintage collection. These are really cool looking. The prototype type figures. And vintage collection there. Oh, some J. Scott Campbell covers. Got comics here too. Classic cover right here. First appearance of Lady J. That is awesome. I remember getting this book off the comic rack. Got some slabs here. We got the Spidey slab. Holy cow. Wow. So this is the first appearance of Black Cat. Slab, 8-5, signed. Wow, that is awesome. Living Hundo. Oh, wow. I don't have these. This is a Spidey 317 Venom appearance, and then a Spidey 315 Hydra Man, and Venom cameo at the end. But uh, I am trying to collect all the McFarlane Spider-Man issues. This is very tempting. 20 and 30, so that might be half my budget right there if I buy both. So we'll see. There's a 316, 240. Very cool. All right, we've got some partial killer whales here. This one looks to be the most complete out of the three here. There's this one here, and then there's that one there. This one missing some of the parts in the back, but it um, looks really clean. Doesn't look too worn. I could buy a partial whale and make that a project and try and complete it. Um, but I know some of these parts, especially the parts in the back, the fan parts, are kind of hard to find. And then you might pay more, and then you end up paying more than you would for just a complete one. So, I don't know. It might be something down the line. This is cool. My best friend as a kid had this lunchbox. A metal lunchbox. Very cool. Alright, it's not just all vintage here. They got some modern stuff too. Super 7, Thundercats. The monkey looks really good. The sculpt on that looks fantastic. 55 each, two for a hundo. So if I got two of these, that would blow my budget. But uh, here's more Super 7 Thundercats. I've never seen the Jaga before in person, so that's cool. Linkso, Groon, Kumaira. And then you got some uh, Super 7 Turtles here. I'm sure you guys have seen these. And there's a Hulk, SDCC Hulk. Pretty cool. There's the Batman, McFarlane Batman. All right, so this is very, very cool here. It is a uh, Flash, three and three quarter inch figure from the movie, Flash Gordon. Sam, uh, what's his name? I forgot his last name. Pretty cool, comes with a lunchbox. Here's Phantom, Zoro, Ming, Flash, Zombie, Zombie, No Friggin' Clue, Sailor Moon, uh, Boxer, interesting. All right, so here's some Warhammer 40K stuff. Very cool, these are the two mechs. This is the uh, Invictor Tactical Warsuit. 
Space Wolves Battle Pack Invictor War Suit. Freaking awesome. 175, 170, out of my price range. But um, these are very cool. I've considered buying these before. They look really good. All right, so there's some mask stuff here. Hurricane, Firecracker, Gator, Vampire, Rhino, Rhino. Another hurricane up there. Um, I have them all, so I have them all with box. The only thing I don't have is an empty hurricane box. Everything else I have the boxes for, so if I find a hurricane box, I might pick that up, but these look really good. Uh, unfortunately, I already have them, so no go for me on those, but a um, bunch of Joe boxes up here. There's a killer whale box. And then you got the vehicles down here. Yeah. Uh, nothing I'm really looking for here. But uh, I'll keep looking. Action Force stuff. Here's, uh, oh wow, that's cool. Mountain Howitzer. Oh, that's awesome. It's got Rakondo on it. Rakondo and Zap. Such an awesome piece of art right there. Getting a flashback to when I was a kid and I would see this art just stacked, stacked on the shelves of Toys R Us. Freaking awesome. I still need, I have a Zartan. I need his gun. I have everything else. He's got all of his little armor plates. I need a swamp skier and I need a box. So there's a swamp skier. Here's a box, but unfortunately, over my price range. So, gotta stick to it. Gotta stick to my guns, guys. There's some major considerations going on behind me. These dudes are just like blocking out the mask figures. I think they're making a a very, very uh, delicate decision as to what they're gonna pick up because those are really good deals. Like those are box mask vehicles and figures for like hundred dollars, which is a great deal. So. I think they have a uh, decision to make. They're just kind of staring at each other and just kind of standing in front of the mask vehicles. These are some things that I actually might consider picking up. There's an e-webkin in there. Uh, I think this was Power of the Force. It's still the big, blocky, muscular bodies. I would not buy these for the figures, though. I'd actually buy them for the vehicles. There's a speeder bike. Speeder bikes are kind of hard to find now in that scale. They made some for vintage collection. They sell for a lot of money. They're expensive. But if I can get one for 20 bucks, probably would never ever display the figure. I might just give the figure away to someone. But um, speeder bike looks good. So, and then the E-Web Cannon looks good too. I have the vintage one. There's some vintage collection TIE Fighters. It's not bad. I think those are the small wing TIE Fighters though, not the big wing. Spawn vehicles. I do not remember these. Interesting. Blast from the past here. Here's to all the uh, 90s kids. There's some X-Men. Let me show you these. Now, I was like a teenager, borderline almost an adult, when like uh, the X-Men stuff was really popular in the 90s. I don't remember any freaking vehicles by Spawn, but apparently they made them. So, I remember that guy at the top. I remember him. But, holy cow, a lot of 90s stuff here, guys. A lot of 90s stuff at this booth. All right, so we got a bunch of Joe Club exclusives here. Three and three quarter inch Joe Joe Club. This one's really cool. I like that one a lot. Here's the Sarge SDCC exclusive. There's a cross country over there. There's a big boa sign. Excuse me, big lob sign, not big boa. Here's a Joe headquarters. I get my bigs confused between Lob and Boa. Here's Big Boa. Okay, so there was a Big Boa. I was just not looking in the right direction. Oh man, Mutton Junkyard, graded. Crimson Guard, graded. Oh, those are nice. A snake Eyes, graded. And they got Ninja also. Very nice. So this is interesting. They have the Pogo here. Sealed contents. So, looks like the box is open, but the inner bag is sealed with all of the vehicle parts intact. 100 bucks. That's a good deal. Then they got the ASP. Same thing, sealed contents. Sealed bag inside, 125. Out of my price range, but this one is not. Something to consider. 
There's also a very nice Night Raven here. Four hundo. Got some uh, Lucy vehicles. Ooh. Is this a... This is a 25th. I was going to say it looks super clean to be a uh, retro one. Or a vintage one. Craig is calling me right now, so I'm going to answer the phone <laughs> and end this clip. All right, Craig just called me and said that there's some mask stuff in a side room. I did not even know there were side rooms here, but there's a rattler there. This looks really nice. This is actually super tempting. It's a hundred bucks even. It comes with wild weasel. Does it come with all the missiles? Looks like it might be complete. It's got the landing gear. Uh, this was one of my favorite Christmas gifts ever, ever as a child. I got this and a Mobat on the same Christmas, but uh, this is extremely tempting. Even has the battle damage parts. So I'm gonna come back here. It looks like it needs some uh, new stickers, but that's normal. So you could always get like repro labels for that or just buy an original sticker set. But uh, super tempting right there. I'm gonna remember this booth. All right, so here's the side room. Let's see, where's Craig? <laughs> Where the hell is he? <laughs> oh, look at these. Those are cool. Would you look at that? <laughs> did you buy anything yet? Yeah, dude. You did already? Did you see the turtles in the back right corner? I didn't. You did, they're in a tub. Oh, yeah, yeah, I went through that. Where are you at? Oh, there you go. All right, so here we go. Thunderhawk, Rhino. Yeah, Thunderhawk. See if the missile stays in place. That's one of the things. It doesn't lock into place sometimes. That's an easy Where? fix. Ooh. That's an easy it's a hundred dollars. Is it really? Yeah, it's actually I fixed this one many times. Volcano. I mean look at this. Look at this. Oh man. And you got the figs. No mask. He's got the mask though. That's tempting. Mm, right to my right. Lots of vehicles. Holy cow. That's amazing. Look at that. This is freaking awesome. All right, this is awesome too. There's a mask. Lunchbox. <laughs> Yeah, Alright, so they got some DC Direct Green Lantern figures. I actually had a huge collection of these previously. I think I traded them, but um, they look really good. The sculpts look really good. Star Sapphire, Red Lantern Mira. That Atrocitus is really nice. The Arisia, and then the uh, Arkillo. Used to love Green Lantern comics. So I keep stopping and looking at the uh, classifieds to see if they have a Duke. I found a Duke, but it's the first version. I want the second version. Minus the gold, minus the red. Um, it's hard to find. It is hard to find that figure. I know he's available on some websites, but uh, if I had been able to find one here, I probably would have bought one here. All right, I'm at this booth here. It says Legends buy three, get one free. I was searching through here. I saw an X here. So there's Blink. I saw another X. Beast. If you don't have Beast, it's a very good deal for one. So I might pick this up. I'm gonna see if he'll do lower on it. But um, yeah, pretty good deal. Craig, what do you got there? Um, install it for me. Headquarters, X Men headquarters. Sealed? It's not sealed, but I got it for thirty bucks. Damn. How do I feel the really present? That's cool. awesome. Yeah, I'm contemplating getting that. Oh, that's cool. Just give it. Eighty bucks. Eighty. I'm sure. All right. Finally made my first purchase. I picked up the uh, Beast Marvel Legends, so still no vintage purchases. 
My only purchase is modern. And uh, I got him for $30. I know he's going for like 75 bucks, mint on card. He's even going for like 65 bucks loose. So I think I got a pretty good deal on him. I don't have him. Um, and I'm collecting the X-Men Marvel Legends. There's more Marvel Legends here. Am I gonna freaking buy all modern stuff here at this vintage show? All right, this is absolutely amazing. It's a life-size fang. Look at this thing. So friggin' cool. Take a really nice close look. We got Ron Wood at the center. Oh wow, look at that. Very cool. That's awesome. This is extremely cool because it's so big. It's the Sectars, the Hive action play set. Look at how big this thing is. By comparison, let me just show you some of the stuff around it. It's freaking huge. Very cool. All right, so there's some uh, Joe vehicles, accessories with boxes here. Paper jet pack. The bivouac. This one's really cool. I always wanted this as a kid. I remember seeing the commercials on TV. Uh, so, the new Joe's Metro? Yes, Commander. Who's on the Watchtower? That's the Jungle Trooper. Code name, the Condor. And Manning the Howitzer? That's the Plane Thrower. Code name, Glowport. And the Halo Jumper. Code name, Ripcord. Who's by the bivouac? That's the Dog Handler. Code name, Mutt. And his dog, Junkyard. Did not see the last of Cobra. Watchtower, Howitzer, Bivouac, and G.I. Joe figures each sold separately from Hasbro. So, 60 bucks. Nice looking box. There's a little rip there, but complete. All the contents there. Sealed contents on that one. And then this one right here, he just told me this is an Italian box. It's a larger box. Most of the boxes are smaller, but you can tell it's Italian, A, by the writing there, and then B, by the fact that it's a much larger box than others. Pretty cool. All right, so this is like a custom contest, but this is very cool here. Sith Jar Jar. He's got the yellow Sith eyes and everything. There's Jedi Jar Jar. Oh my God, this thing's freaking hot as balls. Let's see if it's still cold inside. Still ice cold inside. Hydra Peak flasks for your drinks. It's 100 degrees out here. It's hot as balls in this car. I'm all done. I'm all done. Um, let me show you what I picked up. I'm gonna just do the haul right now. There was a lot of stuff that I had considered. It's very hard to shop when you have a very fixed budget, especially at 100 bucks, because there's a bunch of stuff that I wanted. They all cost like $100, so I can't get it all. I had to pick and choose. So first things first, here's the one that you know about. Marvel Legends Beast. $30. Hell freaking yes. Still surprised I found it for $30. This thing sells for a lot more than that nowadays. 75 bucks, 65 loose. I got this from uh, from Dave, Dave Wonder, Dave Wheeler. This actually came all the way from Minis from Chicago. I think that's where Dave gave it to Craig. Uh, but Craig was my middleman here. He was my, uh, my mule and he brought me uh, the Baron Zemo. So thank you, Dave, if you're watching this, I appreciate it. I'll probably open this on Grippin' and Rippin'. From your hands to my hands, bam! Finally got it, hell yes. Awesome looking figure, Baron Zemo. So that wasn't part of this challenge. These next two figures cleaned my ass out. Again, I was going back and forth. There was a few Joe like accessories with like in the box. There was the volcano, the mask volcano. He was willing to go down to 80 on that. But I decided to get these right here. Basically this dude, the head of booth here, said that he bought a Star Wars collection. At the very bottom of the box of the Star Wars collection were some Joe stuff. And he asked the guy, were these ever played with? Some of the figures had like changed colors in I guess the heat. But holy crap, these are so freaking clean looking. So I got, Look at that. It's so freaking sunny out. He's reflecting off his freaking dome. Destro, 1983 Destro. Extremely clean looking. Like, like he looks like he was never ever played with by a child. The paint on this sucker is ridiculously good. Uh, just looks awesome. Complete, has the gun ski, has the backpack. And then the other one I got, again, extremely clean looking. 
83 gung ho. The tattoo looks absolutely immaculate. I want to take this camera off this damn thing and just show you both these figures in their glory because I'm getting a wicked like reflection from the sun. But uh, got this one too, um, and that was my budget. So one modern figure, Marvel Legends Beast, two vintage figures. Let me show you what these things look like up close. All right, so here is the gung ho. The tattoo, I mean, he literally looks like he's unplayed with. Absolutely awesome. No scuffing, no paint rub. I might change the O-ring out just to make it uh, super duper tight. Here's the Destro. And again, the rockets, you usually see a lot of rub on the rockets and stuff or chipping. I mean, it just looks absolutely immaculate. So, these will go in with the collection very, very nicely. And that is the video. So again, there was a lot of stuff that I was contemplating. Uh, a lot of it came down to the fact that I just don't have room for certain things. I was really close to buying the Volcano. There was two things that kind of prevented me from doing that. The first thing was Jacques Lafleur was missing his mask. So there's immediately something that I'm gonna have to buy on the secondary, on eBay, on Mercari, whatever. I'm gonna have to find something to make it complete. Number two, it's huge, it's gigantic. I have my mask stuff in my Detolf, so I don't think it would fit in there. I wouldn't have any place to put it. So that was kind of one of the main things kind of swaying me more towards buying these two figures as opposed to buying that big volcano. There was a lot of cool stuff that had the box. It's just, I don't know, I didn't really have an idea to display it. So these two, easy to display, put them on a stand, put them in there, they'll look freaking awesome with the Joe stuff. So there you go. This is the DFW GI Joe toy show. I think that was the official name of it. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, I had a great time seeing the guys hanging out for a little bit. We all kind of, or at least I did my normal thing when we go to shows. Craig, if you're watching this, I, I'm sorry, dude. I always do the same thing. I just kind of like freaking go. Now, all you guys are in a nice little group and I'm just like, Meep. so we didn't get to hang as much, but I don't know. That's just, that's how I'm wired. Ask any of my friends that I've been to a show with. I'm just like off of my own, doing my own thing. We talk about, hey, let's meet up, let's hang out, let's walk the show together, and then here's me, just like, whoop, gone. I'm a dick. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have fun collecting. See you around the corner. Adios for now. Yo, Joe. Thanks for joining me at this, uh, this was the G.I. Joe and frickin', this was the D, <laughs> this was the